the past. The past keeps you down. Just thinking about it. Thinking about all the things that the enemy uh, took you through. All the things that you went through. Everything that you was dramatized with. The past. The past mistakes. The enemy wants to keep you locked there. He wants to keep you locked in on the past. He wants you to cause you to forfeit your destiny. He wants you to quit and throw in the towel. He doesn't want you to move forward. He doesn't want, it, want you to see all the good things that God is doing all around you. He doesn't want you to be thankful for anything. He doesn't want you, he doesn't want you to see right now, living in the moment of what is happening right now. He wants you to focus on the past so that you won't walk in to the fullness of God. God did not give us a spirit, but of power and of love and of sound mind. That means that we don't have to be in fear. We don't have to be fear of what the, of what the past or what the enemy may try to do to us or what may happen in the future or what may happen tomorrow or what may happen in the next hour. God has it covered. God said that we are more than overcomers. We are more than overcomers through the blood of Jesus. That means that we don't have to walk in fear because we can overcome through Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Do you know what blood flows on the inside of you? Jesus is blood flows on the inside of you. Do you know what DNA you carry? You carry the blood of Jesus. God is your father. That means that God, that means the power of Jesus is so powerful that all you have to do is believe. All you have to do is accept God's, God's love and his salvation. The love of God will carry you through. You don't have to worry about going through nothing by yourself. You don't have to worry about going through a situation alone. God said he would never leave you nor forsake you. So God is with you always. You are never by yourself. Hallelujah, Jesus. God said he came to give you life and to give it to you more abundantly. Hallelujah, Jesus. He said he came that you would not bash your foot against the stone. God said that he, you are more than a conqueror. Hallelujah, Jesus. You don't have to live in fear about what what is going to happen. You don't have to live in fear. You have the power of God on the inside of you. That means that you have the comforter. God said he goes away and that he is sending a comforter. He is sending someone and that someone is the Holy Spirit as we say the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost lives on the inside of you. So that means you are never alone. Hallelujah Jesus. That means that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you and God said he will give you rest. Hallelujah Jesus. That means that you are never by yourself. Hallelujah Jesus. He gives you strength. You have the strength to move on, to go on, to go further and go into your destiny. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in he that is in you. That is he that is in this world. I said greater is in me than he that is in this world. That means anything in this world is not more powerful than what's on the inside of me. God is on the inside of us and God is working a new thing on the inside of us. Your past is just the testimonies because God brought you through those tests. God brought you through the past. You didn't go through those things by yourself. God brought you through those. So those are testimonies. So anytime you feel like you want to think about the past, just remember God brought you. God said he demonstrated demonstrated his love in this while we were sinners. Hallelujah. So the past is the past, but God is doing a new thing. God showed his love. He brought you out of that. The enemy is trying to terrorize you with it, dramatize you with it. But God said, I'm doing, forget the things of the former things. Forget those things that are behind you. You are pressing forward in the name of Jesus. And God is doing a new thing. This is a new day. Hallelujah. Jesus sing praises to the Lord because he is doing a mighty and work inside of your life. But the enemy doesn't want you to see it. But I'm telling you right now that Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. I know the plans, says the Lord, uh, for good and not of evil. God did not come to give you evil in your life. It was for the good. Hallelujah. To give you a future and of hope. So you don't need to, to, to focus on the past because God said, I came to give you a future, a future and of hope. So he came to give you hope. So you don't need to worry about hopelessness. You don't need to worry about uh, failures. You don't need to worry about the things that, that happened in the past. The past is the past. Whoever you have problems with, whoever you have uh, had to have issues with, forgive those people. Forgive them and pray for them to come to Jesus. If they're not already walking with Jesus, if they're walking with Jesus, continue to pray for them that they grow stronger in the Lord. But I'm telling you right now to forget those distractions, those distraction things, those things that are distracting you from God's love, those things that are distracting you from what God is calling you to do right now, those 
those things that are trying to distract you from you moving forward. That's all it is, is a distraction because the enemy don't want you to move forward. The enemy don't want you to lock in on what God is doing for you. He wants you to lock out and lock into what he's trying to get you to see. But I want to tell you right now that God has his eyes on you, that God is right here, right with you. God is right next to you. God is on the inside of you. The Holy Spirit is leading and guiding you. The Holy Spirit is working something good on the inside of you. I need you to get excited right now because you are not alone and you think that you're alone because the past you felt like you was alone. But even then, God said he demonstrated his love in this while we were still sinners. So even if you were sinning back in the days, God said he forgave you. Even if you was doing some things you ain't proud of, God said, what thing? What thing did you do? I forgot about it. God is saying that I forgave you, that all you have to do is walk in his love and accept his salvation. God is saying right now that he's doing a new thing in your life and that he's bringing you into the destiny and you need to be spreading the word. Spread the word and tell people what God did for you. Forget about the things of the past. Focus on what God is doing right now. I pray that this word helps you in the name of Jesus. God is doing something new in your life and it's going to blow your mind, blow your socks off and the people around you. You're going to be a blessing to others. God bless you.